hey everybody welcome back to the channel um, this is going to be a painting tutorial now I put pictures of uh, my uh, legit wing ER2 online and um, on Facebook and whatnot and I got so many requests to um, do a painting tutorial that I thought I would do it. and this is something I've been meaning to do for a long time and I'll show you guys how to take basically a simple shape like a hexagon and uh, turn it into a nice patterned repetitive um, um, paint job like this. Now something that I learned in art class and whatnot and I've done art all my life is that uh, there's a lot of uh, beauty in repetition. Rep you'll see this as you look at art and, and designs and whatnot but uh, repetition really uh, plays a big role in our, our, our everyday lives as far as uh, um, beauty and uh, patterns uh, so I don't know where I'm going with that but uh, but that's what I, I did here basically. Um, so I uh, if you guys have ever seen the back end of a um, Lamborghini Aventador, uh, the tail lights look a little bit like this. Now, what I did is I printed out some of these. Um, I printed out some of these hexagons, and you'll notice that this little triangular thing here. This looks a little bit like the tail light of a uh, Aventador, and I thought I love, really love that design. I like that that it's got a tri design here in between each hexagon, and it's just a really kind of a futuristic honeycomb, you know, whatever you want to call it. I just, I've always loved this shape. So I thought I would do something like this. I found an image, a small image online, and basically I blew it up to eight and a half by 11 and printed this out. And I thought I was going to have to print out a lot of these, but what I ended up doing is I ended up cutting out all these hexagons here, which looks exactly like this. This is the template that I made. This is the exact one. And you can see that it lines up perfectly right here. And what I did is I cut these out, and I also had to uh, kind of mock cut out. Let me just show you how this looks right here. I actually um, took the parts that I cut out, and I um, basically traced one of these here, and traced one of these here, traced it here, and traced it here, and cut those out as well. So um, here, 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 and here as well. So, um, so what I did. I cut this out, put it on this side, I took all the, the cutouts and I put them, I just placed them on this side of the wing basically. So I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do this. So, all right, so that's, that's the basic gist of it. And um, uh, like I said, it's, simplic it's simple, it's a simple design. And when you put it together and you start fading the paint and whatnot, it really gives you a, a nice effect. Now let's show you, let me show you the bottom real quick. And... You can see that here they also did a, a quick design on, on each side of that orange and uh, green. So these are actually going to go on like this. This will be the outside here. I might do some Sharpie work to this one as well. But let me show you the underside real quick. Okay, so um, and what I have here is a faded design where I've got two stripes coming through. And, uh, and then a, the orange across fading to white, basically, which turned out really nice, I thought. And then I also did some Sharpie work where I outlined, um, because this ended up being pretty faint. Um, and then, of course, I, then I continued the, the design onto the Elevon here. So, uh, so let's get over to the painting area, and I'm going to basically, sh what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the wing beds um, from Team Legit. And I'll basically, I'll do the paint job on this flat surface. It'll make it really simple to see and do, um, and I'll, I'll uh, see, have you guys watch that. So I'll have two of these. I'll have one uh, imitating the top of the design here to show you guys and I'll have one that uh, the second one to simulate the bottom of the, the airplane so uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this video I've had a lot of requests for for paint jobs I'm also going to be doing a sharpie design uh, how to design sharpie um, art on airplanes I'm going to show you guys some designs I've done in the past I did a, a mountain biking helmet and all that good stuff so all right let's get over to the painting area Okay guys, so as you guys can see, I have the um, template um, pinned in place here. You can see some of those T-pins there. Um, I didn't T-pin it uh, on the wing when I did that, when I did it. And I actually should have because the edges, because this is just plain paper, as it gets wet, it wants to curl up. So definitely take some T-pins and pin down this design. Uh, when you're spraying, you don't want to spray at an angle. You want to spray straight down uh, so that does this paint doesn't start going up underneath the, the design here. Uh, hopefully you guys can see this. Okay, so I've got the, the hexagons 
pinned in place. And this is not exactly like the design that I did, but um, just get it. Uh, this is just for example purposes. So what we're going to do is we're going to spray real heavily white on this side here. And as we go inward, we're going to fade it to black. So we don't want to be spraying over here. Um, you want to spray real hard uh, over the design here. Maybe I'll have it fade to black over here. And same thing here. I'm going to spray heavily over the design. And we, as we get to this point, we're going to start to fade it out a little bit. Now, I started off my design with um, um, plastic, white plastic dip, actually. And, it, um, and because the paper started curling up so fast, I didn't get a really heavy coat down. I'm going to use regular paint uh, this time uh, just to see how it works. I bet you we'll get uh, more of a, a nice contrast. So we're going to go ahead and spray this, and uh, I'll show you that right now. Okay, guys, we're just about ready to paint, so you'll see this stuff down here. This is just to protect my pr tripod from the paint. Now, I happen to work in an office. I've got an overhead hood uh, that'll take the fumes out of my office, which is really nice. Um, I'm going to be using uh, white paint uh, for the base. Now, in case you guys are thinking about doing color on a black wing like this, you always are going to paint white first and then your brighter color. So if you try to just take this and start to, to paint it right off the bat, you're going to have... Um, um, not a very nice design, or you're going to have to add so much paint, it's just going to be horrible. It'll take forever for, to, to dry. So let's go ahead and get the white on right now. The first coat, by the way, should always be a bit of a dusting. And the tip on my spray can has uh, been kind of messed up here, so it might not be the best. Okay, so now when we get to this portion here, we're going to start to fade it out. We're going to start making the can come further and further away. I don't know if you guys know about this, but painting techniques, you always start spraying outside and go across and then stop. You never go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth because every time you go back and forth, it puts twice the amount of paint in one spot. Quick tip for you. Okay, so I'll let that dry a little bit. I'm going to go heavy straight down the middle and I'll have it fade to black here so I won't be spraying here at all. Like I said, this can is about out here. Okay guys, that's the first coat. I'm going to throw the, uh, I'll, I'll join you guys back after I do a second and maybe a third coat. Okay guys, so I've completed the um, second coat of white and you can see that white showing up on black EPP is actually pretty hard to do. Um, I'm actually going to add just a little bit of color to this um, bit right here. I'm just going to fade a little bit of blue um, into the white here. So I'm going to go super, super heavy on the edge here. And as I go along, I'm just going to go a little bit lighter, a little bit lighter, until I'm just barely dusting the wing. That's how you get a nice fade. All right, you can see how nicely that uh, blue shows up here now that I have the white on there. I'm just going to put a little test bit of blue on here. You can see how dark that blue looks right there compared to what's over here. So the white really brightens everything up. So here I'm going to concentrate a strong beam right down the center of these hexes. Basically, this is just to show you guys like um, how to do different fading techniques and whatnot. Straight down the center, really heavy. Okay, now I'm going to go outwards, really, really light. Just like that. Okay, and at this point we can actually pull up the design and see what it looks like. Okay, there's my hex design there. I'm just going to set my thing aside here. There we go. Okay, so that is exactly how I did the other design. 
you guys can see. So I think that looks really cool. But you can see that why you need the necessity for having the black, uh, the white underneath, because it really makes those colors pop. I really like the way this came out. Okay, guys. Uh, so just to remind you what we're replicating, we're replicating basically these two stripes that have kind of a ghosted hexagonal, hexagonal <laughs> uh, pattern through it. Okay, so just like this. Uh, so we're gonna put this design right there on that wing bed. Um, first thing I'm using is some tape, and this is probably almost about two inch wide tape, maybe an inch and a half. Same thing, we're going to do the same thing where we're going to paint up to about right here, then from here on it's going to fade off. One thing you got to take your step back, but yeah, don't be afraid to experiment and try things. That's, that's the one thing I really learned. <clears throat> okay, so I got the spray on here get on pretty heavy then you're gonna just right away just pull this right off okay okay so we got our nice stripe and I was gonna leave it at like at that like I was saying <clears throat> cool thing about these uh, templates by the way you can flip them over use them however you want but it looks like this is going to line up so then I said okay let, let's let's get this going here and I kind of lined it up and went like this and I'm just going to dust uh, a color so we have uh, on the on the wing we have uh, faded from white uh, white to orange I think I'll go ahead and uh, re re reproduce that exact same thing and what I'm going to do is take some of these t-pins I'll go ahead and put these in It will just give us a nice, uh, much more sharp edge. All right. All right. So, I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I do blue this time, or should I do orange? Maybe I'll do orange to blue. Uh, what's cool about this is that this covering up the black is going to keep the black here and just keep it and it'll have a little bit of a dusting of the color. So maybe I'll go from I'll go from blue to to orange or orange to blue. I'll, I'll put orange on the leading edge here, but I'm going to do it pretty light. So I'm going to go super heavy right on the edge. It's going to really saturate it quite a lot. And really, that's all we really need to do. I mean, it's kind of like the safety orange. Okay, so I'm gonna go like that. So I just aimed right here, and the natural um, fading effects of the sprays is already on there. It barely goes past this point. Okay, we'll do the blue. Here we go. This is a really intense color, so I'm just gonna go right here, uh, just like on the other side, just super heavy right on the edge. And now I'm going to bring my hand up a little bit more. I'm going to start to dust it. Just get a light dusting. Because we don't want to cover up the black uh, stripes completely. All right. Okay, so with this type of design, you don't really have to wait. You can just take the, the design right off because I think that's all we need. Uh, if we wanted to, I could spray white over the top of this again, or you know, you could really try a bunch of different things. But let's try this here. And it's nice to keep these templates, by the way. You don't have to throw them away. Plus, I'm impatient. All right. So there you can see. The hexagonal design it's pretty cool 
And after I laminated it, I went ahead and I drew in some dark Sharpie uh, to help to define the lines of, of everything we have going on here. So I think that came out really cool. What do you guys think? Pretty neat. Okay, and I'm actually going to take a little piece of scrap laminate. I'm going to go ahead and laminate over that as soon as this dries so that you guys can see that the colors pop out and also how I outline it with the Sharpie. So I have my laminate here and I'm going to go ahead and uh, laminate the wing here. Now, uh, when you, or you're doing a legit wing, you actually take Super 77, you spray it over here, which may, gives it a bit of a hazy look to it. I'm not going to do that right now since this is just a, a wing template and it's not something we're actually going to be flying. So um, take your iron, have it up just a little bit over half, and um, go ahead and drag it across, just like that, and look at that color. Oh! So um, one of the ways to prevent wrinkles in your uh, laminate is to do a straight... Uh, Go straight across just like this, and go straight across just like this, and what that prevents is it prevents any type of long running um, uh, wrinkles to, to not happen. So I might have done it right there though. <laughs> Don't do that. Alright, so basically you're going to go over here and just erase all of the... Yeah, I wrinkled it up there. <laughs> Because, you know, this is pushing down as I'm pressing on it, too, so it's probably not the most accurate. But you guys will understand what we're doing here. So make sure your iron never touches the paint or the EPP. Otherwise, you'll get a sticky area on your, your iron, and then it doesn't go smoothly over your designs. So that is that, and that looks fantastic. You guys saw how the color just pops right out at you. So Okay, guys and gals. Uh, so another thing you can do uh, is put Sharpie on top of the laminate. I always recommend doing it on top of the laminate and not on top of the uh, EPP because it just the EPP is so coarse. It just doesn't take the design very well. Um, so what I'm going to do is make these look slightly more three-dimensional by basically coloring in three sides, uh, the same three sides of, of every single uh, guy here. I'm going to go kind of quick here um, just to kind of show you guys just the effect that I'm looking for. I'm not going to be super accurate. So I'm going to go three sides like this, so it's going to look slightly three-dimensional. We'll do this on every single one. I like it. I'll probably end up doing that on my laser wing. This is my test wing. Okay, so guys, this is the underside of my legit wing, and we did the same design here. We just changed the colors a little bit, but we did the ghosting. And as you can see here, I did some Sharpie design here. I think I actually did that on the EPP, which is why I recommend doing it on top of the uh, laminate instead. So let me just put this aside, and we'll go ahead and laminate this really quickly just with a scrap piece of um, laminate here for most of it on here that I can. All right, let's do that. And let me put something underneath this, something thick enough. Uh, I'll put this battery underneath it. <laughs> Super safe. Yeah, that's, no. <laughs> so let me just put this roll of tape underneath here. Ah, that, that helps out. Okay, that's the way it doesn't bow down when I push down on this. Okay, so here we go. Uh, I'm going to do the same technique here where I'm just going to go drag it straight across. Uh, look at that color! Woo awesome. So you want to do, you definitely want to pull this a little bit as you're laminating. Is I'm going to take these really faint lines of the blue, and I'm going to outline all these. Um, but I'm not going to outline it in the stripe. That's going to be emphasized by the paint itself. So let's go ahead and do this. It's 
Really technically this one's gonna be like that, so Alright, that's basically how I did it. Okay guys, so uh, thanks for joining my channel. Um, just, you know, like I said, I love simple designs. This is simple and clean. I wanted a little bit of color on the bottom. Thanks for joining my channel. If you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up. There's actually going to be a link down below on how to support my channel. Um, and you can go onto my pa Patreon page. I just started that. I'm going to make a separate video um, explaining everything on there. But if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.